how do I know? Because, um, uh, and publish the paper. People want to read uh, the paper on the mast cell tumor on the dog's face. We put him on a metabolic therapy uh, and the tumor uh, gradually degraded over a few month period. Uh, when the dog was seven, it was a pit bull uh, and the tumor grew for two years on his face, got big on a, on a vegetable diet, mostly it grew bigger than the the dog parent switched it over to a raw meat bone in kind of thing with uh, with fish oil and some raw eggs, cut the calories way down. And within a few months, this tumor disappeared. Um, the dog lived to be 15 and a half years of age. The tumor never returned and the dog died from heart disease at, at, at 15 and a half years of age. So he was clearly cured of his cancer. Uh, I, I, there may be others out there. But, but you know, the problem is I, we haven't done metabolic therapy long enough to know if people, if, if uh, the, the remission of the tumor is continuous. Now, the other guy we have is an Englishman, uh, uh, Pablo Kelly from Devon, England. Uh, Pablo was diagnosed with a glioblastoma, very deadly brain cancer in 2014. Yeah. And he's been on the news telling everybody, English newspapers and things like this. Um, when he was diagnosed, he chose no radiation, no chemo, no steroids, none of this, no surgery. Uh, with, for a glioblastoma, is like a very deadly tumor. And they said, you're going to be dead in nine months. He says, I'll roll the dice, take my chances. So uh, um, he did metabolic therapy and he's still, a, 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 he, he, oh, well, you know, they all got angry with him. He said, you can't do that. They all got angry. And he, he said, well, I'm doing it. And um, so he went on metabolic therapy. The tumor uh, continued to grow very, very slowly. It was considered inoperable when he was first diagnosed. Uh, by three years, it had continued to grow, but indolent. Then he had it surgically debulked. The neurosurgeon said, hey, this tumor is now no longer inoperable. Maybe we can operate on it now. And they took it out, but it continues to grow. He has had two debulking surgeries. He's out nine years now. And he has, he's married with two kids there. And uh, he still has the tumor, but it's indolent. Um, so he keeps it under control by his diet and lifestyle. Um, will he, how long will he make? All I know is that for anyone with a glioblastoma to live nine years is, is extremely rare. Yeah. Extremely. He's got like a 1%. You know, most people are dead within two to three years. And, and that comes a large amount, not only from the tumor being bad, but the irradiation of the brain in a tumor frees up massive amounts of glucose and glutamine. The two fuels that drive the fermentation of the tumor are created in large part from rapid surgery followed by radiation, chemo, and steroids. So the very process of trying to help the patient almost guarantees their death certificate in, in, that, in that type of cancer. So because I, we understand the biology of the disease. When you understand the biology of the disease, some of the things we do to these poor folks makes no sense at all.